How's it going, guys? It's Brad. So, yeah, this is the Clash of Champions review. It's pretty dark out, so I got my light on here to do this video, so I have decent lighting. So, yeah, Clash of Champions pre-show. Mojo Rawley defeated Zack Ryder. It was a pre-show match. Who really gives a flying fuck? It, you know, from it was great Mojo won, though. You know, younger star, he benefits more from it. First match we had was for the was the triple threat match for the U.S. title. Corbin defending against Bobby Roode and Dolph Ziggler. It was actually a pretty good match. Back and forth, really good match. In the end, Dolph Ziggler would hit the zigzag on Baron Corbin while Corbin was doing the end of days on Bobby Roode and got the three count for the win. So yeah, Dolph Ziggler actually won. Yeah, so yeah, now Dolph's the two-time United States champion, so congrats to him. Also, next match we had was the was SmackDown Tag Team Titles. The Fatal 4-Way match, it was the Usos to feign against the New Day, Aiden English and Rusev, and Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable. Really, Fatal 4-Way, it was a back and forth match, a lot of chaos everywhere. In the end, Usos will get the three count on Chad Gable for the win. So Usos still remain your tag team champions, the hottest team in the tag team division in WWE, and they're still champions. That's great. Fucking hell yeah. Next up, the Lumberjack match. Charlotte Flair defending the SmackDown Women's title against Natalya. Back and forth match for the most of this match. Every time Charlotte got thrown out to the side of the ring, all the Lumberjacks attacked. You know, there was at one point Naomi did a suicide dive onto all of them. Charlotte did the did the backflip somersault onto all of them at one point. You know, at the end of the match, if anyone wants to know Carmilla, she did attempt the cash in her briefcase. She tried to pull a Seth Rollins at Mania 31 and had try and have the match finish under triple threat rules. But the Riot Squad prevented that from happening. Charlotte Flair would make Natalia tap out to the figure eight leg walk and for the win to retain the SmackDown Women's title. So yeah, Carmella, she did attempt, and it failed. So from the looks of it, unless they're saving Carmella's cash in for a random SmackDown in the coming weeks, Carmella's going to enter 2018 still with the briefcase. At this point, I could see her cashing in at WrestleMania. Because the clock's ticking. The clock is ticking. Next up, we had a goddamn squash match. Bludgeon Brothers beat the living dog shit out of the gay police. Brizongo. Who fucking cares? Yeah, good, good job for Eric Rowan and Luke Harper, but they need real talent. They can't win squash matches. They don't prove anything in that. I actually timed that match. That match was only 1 minute and 58 seconds long. 2 minutes of a waste of time. Next up, though, was the big match. Randy Orton and Sami Zayn. Randy Orton and Shinsuke Nakamura versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan were both the special guest referees. And if Zayn and Owens lose, not only were they fired from SmackDown, they were fired from WWE. Early on in the match, both Shane and Daniel Bryan were arguing about who has which side to reign at one point. They agreed to cut in the middle. At this point, I would have grabbed the roll of duct tape and just taped half the raid saying this is your half this is my half it wouldn't have made that easier but yeah they figured it out near the end of the match when when Shane was about to get a three was about was in the middle of a count Kevin Owens would push Daniel Bryan on top of Shane to break the pinfall count you know Shane was you know of course thinking that Daniel Bryan did it on purpose when Daniel was really pushed then Sam, when Sami Zayn went to do a roll-up on Randy Orton, Shane would get the two and then not count the three, officially showing that he was going to screw Sami Zayn. Daniel Bryan did not take lightly to that. Then while Shane's back was turned, when Sami had another roll-up attempt on Randy Orton, Sam, Daniel Bryan would hit the fast recount. To give Sammy and Kevin the win. Of course, though. So Sammy Zayn and Kevin Owens remain win. Because I was thinking WWE was going to take that seriously. 
Daniel Bryan pretty much screwed Randy Orton and Shinsuke Nakamura out of a win after Shane McMahon screwed Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens out of a win. So yeah, it's called karma. It backfired on Shane, and it came back to haunt him. Next up, our main event. AJ Styles versus Jinder Mahal for the WWE title. All dirt for the, before the start of this match, I was praying to God, please don't let Jinder win the belt back. Have AJ hold it till Mania. Jinder doesn't need to be champion anymore. Back and forth match. You know, really, Jinder, he's fucking garbage. It shows. It really shows in this match why he's been a jobber for five years. You know, Jinder, he had like one or two good moves. Near the end of the match, the same brothers, of course, interfered. And, of course, AJ Styles hit the phenomenal forearm on one of them and hit the Styles Clash in there. At that point, I was like, oh, shit. Jinder's going to win it, isn't he? Then when Jinder hit the Colossus, I was like, fuck. But then he took too long getting the pin to get, to get the cover on AJ. And then AJ would kick out at two. AJ would lock in the calf crusher leg submission when it looked like Jinder Mahal was about to get to the ropes. AJ would roll Jinder back and force Jinder Mahal to tap out for the win. And AJ Styles is still your reigning and defending WWE champion. Hell fucking yeah. The end of the Trash Raja is officially here. Fuck Jinder Mahal. Fuck him. Fuck this overrated shithead. Fucking hate this piece of shit. Get him the fuck out of the main event now. So yeah, my overall thoughts. It was actually a pretty good pay-per-view. Back and forth. Good matches. Most around. Except for that two-minute squash match. So you have to get this pay-per-view rating. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. It was pretty good. It was pretty good here. I have my reactions video. I finished editing it. It's going to be, you know, it'll be uploaded after this one, of course. So yeah, hope everyone enjoyed it. Of course, if you like my if you like my reviews, make sure to like it and comment what your thoughts on the pay per view if you watched it. If you're brand new to the channel, please subscribe for more content. I've been your boy C Red, and hope everyone has a great night. I mean day. I mean yeah, it's day because it's morning. Peace out. Anyway, peace out.